but this is a strap wrench and it started to rip right here you can hear it cracking and hopefully you check out our other videos because we have a boatload of them all the tools will be in the show more of the video description if you do not know where the show more is let us know we will point you in the right direction all right first thing we're going to do is let all the air out going to get loud Then we're going to go inside the motorhome and let the main air all out of there as well. You want this completely drained of air. And when you're draining the air out, as I just did here with the valve, let it go for about five minutes so that if there is any water in the system, it will come out. All right, we have two different size tools here. One's wider. As you know, more surface area will grip it better. And then one's narrower. We're going to try the wide one first and it has not been removed. They go two ways, putting it on and taking it off. So just make sure you get it right. It's labeled right and left. So we want to do that because as we turn it, it's going to tighten. And we're going to use half inch tools on this. Now I'm sure I'm going to block your view as I'm doing this, but we're going to try not to do that. Oh, look at that torque. It's not a real easy thing to get to, but you can get it. It's moving. And these are the only tools I know that will remove these and you can save yourself tons of money doing it yourself. Of course, it's a lot easier doing it without the camera in the way, but you would not know how to do it if I didn't do this and it's worth it. Again, all the tools will be in the show more of the video description. And they're not light, they're very heavy. There it is. And you can see the condensation in it. That filter has been on there way too long that's what happens when you buy a used motorhome people say they do stuff and they don't now we'll take our new seal that has some synthetic grease on it put that on and our new filter has grease on the seal these are supposed to be replaced every two years, roughly. And all you do is screw it back down till it touches and then turn it a half turn. If you hear any leaks or anything like that, you can turn it another quarter turn at a time. And then make sure you write the date on it. Now, of course, I can't get to it to get a good enough grip on it, so I will snug it up. And that should be it. We'll air it up and check it out. But these are the cat's meow right here. Okay, now we will go here and hit the level. And it will self-level. Then you come back, listen for any leaks, and watch your gauge inside.